Okay, so we're gonna start by doing an atlas check. So we lay face out. Your leg lengths tell us about what's happening at atlas C1. And that actually looks great. Nice and even, so perfect. So you'll turn over and lay face down. And for pregnancy adjustments, we have these nice big fishy pillows that feel really good. You concur? <laughs> yeah. I wish I would have known about these pillows when I was pregnant. Now we're going to start evaluating the rest of your spine. The table's going to go down just a little bit. And so what I'm looking at here are your leg lengths laid face down. When you're face down, your leg lengths tell me about all kinds of different things in your spine, not just C1. And what I've seen first is a right short leg by, oh, a little over half an inch. Can you see that on the camera? <laughs> Erica, I'll have to show you later. It's pretty impressive, actually. <laughs> And that, um, that leg length difference um, actually means that you have a lot of twisting in your pelvis. So in pregnancy, twisting in the pelvis can feel like a sharp pain around this joint here, which is the SI joint. It can feel like a low back pain. Um, and it can even have constraints into the womb because when your pelvis is twisted, all of your internal organs are too. Um, so we're going to start working to unwind that. So that's an adjustment on the right SI joint. We're going to come back and check that. And that actually looks really, really good. In pregnancy, the adjustments are um, gentler because your body has all sorts of hormones that make the joints more relaxed. Now we're going to come back and make another adjustment in the pelvis. This one's at your issue. Here's the bone. And I'm just checking each time. And there's just still a little bit more tension. Can you feel how that leg goes in okay? And then that one's resistant? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to figure out why. And adjust here at L5. So usually, even though the table is a little bit slightly dark, um, it's comfortable enough with the pillows. Have you found that to be your experience? Yeah. yeah. Usually we get we wake up the baby with this one. And we're gonna check that one last time. Uh, feel that difference? Yep. Yeah, much better. And I'm going to come here and start checking for your neck and your shoulders, um, your back, your back. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to adjust to the base of your skull. Um, can you feel how this side is high and that side feels low? Yeah. Yeah. That'll create tension in your neck and sometimes even give a headache. We use the activator to adjust that. Okay, now we're going to um, check through the thoracic spine. I'm checking the muscles, I'm checking the ribs, and the vertebra, and I'm doing it all with a stretch. So most of the, um, this part of the pregnancy adjustment is much the same as it would be if you were pregnant, with a, with a few exceptions. Um, that not as much force as necessary because, like I said before, you've got relaxing happening in your body, which makes joints just a little bit more loosey goosey. And then we always want to make sure that your pelvis is perfectly balanced, um, not only for you to feel good, but for the baby inside as well. I'm doing one last check here. Good. All right, go ahead and sit and we'll work through your neck and shoulders. Seated. Good. Okay. 
Okay, just a couple of spots on the left. And we're going to adjust both of these spots with the app. Should that other spot let go. Okay, lay on your back. All right. So for um, in pregnancy, there's a few things belly-wise that we always want to check. Um, we want to look at the psoas muscle. The psoas muscle runs from the front of your hip into your low back, and it can cause front of the hip pain. Sometimes it can be confused with front of ligament pain. It can cause low back issues, and especially as you get into labor and you're really using your muscles to push out the baby. If one side is tighter than the other, it can cause a lot of uh, back labor as well. So we're gonna check that with your arms above your head. And it's just a little tight on that left side. Sometimes people will think that you're even having shoulder issues because it pulls that whole side of the body down. Uh, if the if the psoas muscle is tight. So to stretch it, we're gonna get in on the muscle. So we ask baby to scoot out of the way a little bit. <laughs> Excuse me. And then we just do a little stretch. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. And now we're gonna check it again. This is Aiden, right? Mm -hmm. Aiden's a little unwilling to share his space there. <laughs> Not much room, yeah. Um, so that looked much better. So you're, uh, I knew that because when I looked at your arms, I saw that they're nice and even. We did that really quick. See the difference there. Um, so that's great. We're going to leave that alone. Now I'm going to check where your pelvis comes together in the front. Yep, exactly. Um, so on this one, you're going to squeeze together really, really hard. And I'm going to do a little pull apart. Good. You feel that pop there? What that does is where your pelvis comes together in the front, there's a joint there. And in pregnancy, it can get a little bit misaligned. It can cause a sharp pain in the front. Um, it can make your pelvis not move very well. Moving pelvis is important when you're trying to give birth. Um, so that's a reset for that. Now I'm gonna come and check uh, round ligaments. And if I find one that's tight, I'll do a little bit of a ligament release. And I'm not feeling that today, so it's actually perfect. Um, now I'm just going to check for any areas of muscle spasm. And there's just a little bit right here. Um, so what that is, it, here's what it looks like. It's just a, a gentle rub through the muscle fiber to release it. A little tenderness. And have you been having any heartburn issues? Okay, let's go ahead and do that too. Um, so this is um, a maneuver that helps to pull the stomach down out of your, at this point, out of your lungs, right? <laughs> um, and it is a nice relief for heartburn. Okay, deep breath in. Good. At this stage of pregnancy, it doesn't last very long because Aiden's going to just kick it back up there in about three minutes. There we go. <laughs> um, but it's worth doing just to give you a little break. All right. That's got it. Thank you very much. Appreciate you being willing to be our video star. <laughs> All right.